what is up my fellow mobile gamers in today's video we will be continuing our best builds guide and covering three support characters subscribe to the channel thumbs up this video it is greatly appreciated my friends one thing that i do want to mention real quick is there will be a event coming up this weekend friday and saturday we have the drop rate up for ascension materials i'm not sure if uh you can get like double the advantage by using one of these wave boosters so i'm i'm interested to see how this works with that double drop rate up because hey that could be like what three times the amount into this so the three characters we are going to be covering today are uh hang you unky cha and finally the esper that you need to fusion summon for fabrice all right so first up we have is hang you she is an epic four star that you can pull support she does a little bit of healing but also a really good debuffer let's take a quick look at her skills right here we have her ultimate ability dispels debuffs and gives you a little bit of heals um like the passive ability it's nice right but it only heals like one character um whereas there are some other support characters that are more focused on healing like straight healing but you do get the debuffing from her so that's why she is good i would say she's probably arguably one of the top three support characters in the game her captain ability increase ally hp by 24 percent eh it's okay um you're basically just going to use one main relic for her and as you see i already have it the healing one the one that gives you a healing efficiency of plus 30 percent so again it just makes her healing better this helps buff her passive ability that way she gets off more healing at the end uh take a look at this uh relic that i got this one is absolutely sick we got hp bonus as a main stat maxed out to 15 look we're getting plus 53 percent extra hp bonus we got uh plus 12 for speed um this one this was a really really good relic that i got uh for her two piece you can go with two different ones you can go with the adamantin set which gives all allies a shield if you don't like that one and you want to give specifically her even more hp then you could go ahead with the master groove set which just gives a bonus 25 percent hp if you want if you can get the healing set that has hp bonus as its main stat a percentage like this for all four i mean you don't really need to worry about uh getting that extra 25 percent you could definitely run this i mean even something like this i mean look at the numbers i'm getting an extra 10,482 hp and this is just from all of my relics and buffs and stuff which is crazy i mean it's almost doubled her base hp if you do happen to pull duplicates of her just put all of your energy points into hp because again we really just want to have her uh survivability as high as possible but overall a solid pick i absolutely love this character i use her all the time she's probably basically like my main support character all right take a look at our next support we got unky cha he is a three star a rare support now this guy doesn't actually do healing but he supports your characters in another way he gives you his passive ability gives you crit rate up for two turns and attack up for one turn to two random allies at the start of each turn and that's that's his passive ability so that's not even like a casted ability that just happens naturally every time somebody's crit rate and attack is going to go up his ultimate ability grants attack up to the team for two turns so that's everyone and reduces the ability cooldowns if they already have attack up so because of that it kind of works really good with the passive ability when it comes to relics there's a few different combinations you can do um, you can try out this ocean wave set i was trying this out um it's a it's a bit interesting iffy um i wouldn't say this is necessarily my number one choice um i was just kind of testing this out this can be good uh, sometimes this can be good to re reduce his cooldowns but uh um, but overall i would go with the Windwalker one right here the uh speed plus 25 percent bonus just because you want him to go first you want him to go before your enemy uh, and more importantly you kind of want him to go before everyone else so that way you can go ahead and pop the ultimate which grants attack up to the team for two turns right so you don't want him to go last and everyone else does their attacks and then he does his ultimate and buffs everyone's attack and now your opponent gets all their turns you really want him to go first for your team 
Green, everyone attack up, and then they start going off, and then, you know, their attack is already buffed. So really, you want to have him go first, increase his speed, so speed relic, definitely. And then for the two-piece, again, this is very similar to Hen Yu, where you could go with the shield to grant all of your allies a shield equal to their 15% uh, of their max HP. Or if you don't want to do that, you can go ahead and give him the HP buff. All right, and finally, we got Fabri, Fabrice, 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 I think is how you say it. This is one of the espers that you need to actually fusion for, so the game kind of walks you through through it and if you follow the guide in the game it'll show you how to basically summon him he is uh not a big healer he does have a little bit of healing but he's more for stuff like invincibility and immunity so this is what makes him really really strong the fact that he can grant invincibility and immunity um invincibility makes it so that your character basically takes no damage which is absolutely insane if you think about it i mean grant it to a teammate and you know if they they, they can't get one shotted or nothing that's a really strong ability and then immunity to all all allied espers for two turns means they won't take any debuffs from your opponent which again that's really really strong i mean one of the best ultimate abilities in the game also he is an epic character so he starts off at four stars then his other special one grants a teammate 58% AP as well as attack up. Two different relic sets that you can put on him. The most important one being the Windwalker set to increase his speed because again, you wanna make sure he goes first. If your opponent goes first, it gives them a chance to debuff your team. And at that point, having him on your team is pointless if his ultimate doesn't go off first. So you really want to have anything that has speed. So you want to put the Windwalker set on him. And then you want to look out for all, st all stats that have that speed buff. Another one that you can put on him is the Ocean Wave set, which uh, grants 35% chance to reduce all ability cooldowns. This can be really, really crazy. Um, if it triggers right because if it triggers you could be using his ultimate ability a lot into the point where you might only have one turn uh, without immunity um, but again it depends on how many times that triggers if it triggers twice uh, potentially you could literally be using this ultimate ability every time uh, the two turns of immunity is up. So basically your team is always going to have immunity. So that is definitely a, a scary thing that you can try out. Use the ocean wave set. Um, again, though, it, it has to trigger. If it doesn't trigger, then it's kind of like, eh. But again, if you can kind of get like an ocean wave set that has uh, speed as its main stat, then you really don't even need to use the wings. Uh, for the 25% extra speed because if he's already going to have a ridiculous amount of speed and go first then you might as well take the gamble a 35% chance reduce his abilities to the point where hey you're popping this almost all the time which is sick in this game but uh yeah he's definitely a really strong support character just a uh, weak with healing you know there's just not no good healing but he has other things that he does for the two-piece set you could use the hp bonus for 25 percent, or you could use the set that gives all allies a shield again just more survivability but that is it for today folks i hope you guys and girls enjoyed the video stay happy stay safe my friends peace